Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Nas Ilmatic and Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation 1814 to be inducted into Library of Congress. Nas is fresh off his first Grammy win and now the crown jewel of his discography will be enshrined in the Library of Congress. The Library of Congress announced on Wednesday that Nas' debut album, Illmatic, will be inducted into the National Recording Registry. Illmatic was a real cultural reset. The 1994 album was one of the first times a rapper grabbed several superstar producers to contribute to one project. Also, at just 20 years old, Nas was able to blend conscious lyrics with bars that are relatable to his surroundings in the Queensbridge houses. This duality and approach to creating a project are methods that are still mimicked by artists. Illmatic is one of 25 audio recordings deemed worthy of preservation by the Librarian of Congress, Carla Hayden. They were chosen from close to a thousand submissions and include Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation 1814, When the Saints Go Marching In by Louis Armstrong, Celebrate by Cool in the Gang, Kermit the Frogs, The Rainbow Connection, and other classic recordings. The National Recording Registry will preserve our history through these vibrant recordings of music and voices that have reflected our humanity and shaped our culture from the past 143 years. Hayden said when announcing the new inductees, we received about 900 public nominations this year for recordings to add to the registry. And we welcome the public's input as the Library of Congress and its partners preserve the diverse sounds of history and culture. The recent recording select, excuse me, the recent recording selected bring the number of audio pieces inducted into the National Recording Registry to 575. This is just a small portion of the near 3 million items preserved in the library's recorded sound collection. Man, this is great news, man. This is great news, man. Congrats to Nas. Congrats to Janet Jackson. And I jammed both CDs, man. Illmatic, Illmatic was a classic. I like Illmatic, but I love it was written a little more. Um, Janet's Rhythm Nation was great. That was a classic album. I think I love her later project. I forgot the name of it. I got to go look it up again <laughs> to see the name of it. But this just goes to show you, man. This shows you the history, and this are, and these are things that should be glorified more. We should be talking about things like this, and it shouldn't just be there. It's probably a lot more CDs on that's in the Hall of Fame. I mean, not Hall of Fame, but in the registry. And you know, this is great for Nas, man. Especially you know, growing up, man, I love listening to Nas, but um, I didn't listen to Nas really until a little later, like in ninety. Eight, I believe, 97, 98. Um, and It Was Written was the first one I heard. And It Was Written was my joint. And then I heard Illmatic. And I was like, man, this thing go hard. Because my first CDs I listened to was Biggie's Ready to Die. I was Biggie Heavy. Um, Mace's album. I was on BG from Cash Money. I was on No Limit, um, Mac and um, Mystical. I was listening to them and Mia X. So, you know. You know, Nas, man, but Nas, man, dropped realness. He drops the real. And, oh, yeah, I was on LL Cool J. I was on Cool J a lot on because my sister, she loved LL Cool J. And she loved Michael Jackson. So I was on Janet Jackson listening to that heavy. And, man, this is this is great to see both CDs in the registry. You know, congrats to both of them, man. You know, um, Nas' latest CD got an um, Oscar. I mean, got nominated for a Grammy, which is cool. But I... This last CD was good, but Nas should have got like at least three, four Grammys a long time ago. Um, he should have got a Grammy, you know, for some of his early works and some of his other stuff. Um, I thought Stillmatic, he should have got one for that. And he definitely should have got one from um, Life is Good. The Life is Good album was awesome. And Janet, you know, I think she got a Grammy. I got to, I got to see. I gotta look that up.
Yeah, yeah, I think she did win one. Yeah. She got one for all for you, I believe. Got till it's gone and scream, I believe, and that's the way love goes. And then Rhythm Nation, you know, 1814. So yeah, she she got one. She got more than one. Um But that that that's respect. Um like I said, let um yeah. Yeah, she's received five Grammy Awards, that's right. And eleven American Music Awards and eleven Billboard Music Awards, man. Like like I said, Janet's um Janet Jackson, man, is is incredible. Um, especially some of her CDs um that she had. Let's see. Now, all of all for you in two thousand one. I like that. That was my joint. Um, Rhythm Nation went hard. Um, trying to see what was my other one. The one self-titled Janet was okay. Yeah, the Velvet Rope '97. That was a good CD too for me. So, you know, my favorite ones was Rhythm Nation, All For You, The Velvet Rope, um, and I think self-titled Janet. You know, that was good. Um, I heard the other ones. I just don't remember them as much. Demita Joe was okay. It wasn't all that. But um, like I said, man, congratulations to Nas and Janet Jackson. Um, Let me know what was your favorite Janet Jackson and Nas album and tell me what was your favorite songs. My favorite Nas album was It Was Written, and my favorite song was The Message that he did. Janet Jackson's All For You. Um, I'm trying to remember what song was that. All For You was one of my favorite of hers. Was it that one? Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I Get So Lonely on the Velvet Rope. Yeah, that was my joint. That was one of my favorite songs. So yeah, let me know what was your favorite CD of Janet and your favorite um song and your favorite CD of Nas and the favorite song. Um, if you thank you for listening, like, comment, subscribe, share this, hit the notification bell to select all to receive content. And if you would like to donate to the page, you can cash at me at the word welcome, the number two in HDII TV. Thank you for listening, and we're out. Deezy.